Hello everyone, T3Toxic here and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to fix Fortnite not rendering your game properly. So basically if your game looks like this, I'm going to be showing you how to fix that in today's video. Ok guys, if you do enjoy today's video and you like my content, please leave a like and subscribe as that would really help me. Ok guys, so the first step is to create a restore points. So what you want to do is you want to go down to the search bar and search control panel. Just open that up, click on system and security, system, advanced system settings, system protection, and then go into the drive that has your windows installed. So mine is my SSD so I'm going to click on that and I'm going to click create. Then just name it today's date which is my birthday, so still on the grind even on my birthday. Click create and it should start creating a restore point. Once this is done, it should pop up with the screen and just click OK and close. So what we've done right there is just created a restore point, so if any of these changes are not good for your computer and somehow make your computer slower and you don't like it, you can easily just go back and then everything will go back to normal. Okay, so since we've created restore points, let's get right into it. So go down to your search bar, search device manager, now open it, go under display adapters, and then it should be your graphics card. Then click on right click and click on properties, click on details, and change this from device description to hardware LDS. Then just keep this open and remember this. Next you want to click do the run command. So that's Windows key plus R. Then you just want to type reg edit. Click OK. Then go down and look for H key local machine. Go down there. Then look for system. Go down in system. Then look for current control set, go down there, then enum, and then PCI, and then when you find the same name up here, so as you can see it's right here, just go down on that, go down again, click device parameters, next right click on interrupt management, new, click on key, and name it these exact words, message, signaled, interrupt properties. I'll have it in a pinned comment down below. Then click enter. Next you want to right click on message signaled interrupt properties. New. Then click on D word 32 bit value and turn on caps lock and type MSI supported. Then click enter. Then click, then right click on MSI supported, click modify, and set this data value to 1. Then click OK. Once you've done that, just close it out. Okay guys, next step is to go into the search bar and search control panel. Then system and security, system, advanced system settings, performance settings, by default, it will be adjust for best appearance, but then click adjust for best performance, and then custom, and then animate controls and elements inside windows, show thumbnails instead of icons, smooth edges of screen fonts, then click apply, it's okay. Once you've done that, you can just go ahead and close out of system properties. Okay guys, next step is to go into your share bar and type control click on control panel, then go into system and security, system, advanced system settings, and then under performance click settings, then advanced, and then change, and then you're going to want to see how much installed memory, RAM, you have, I've got 16 gigabytes, you want to turn the setting off, then go next to the drive that has system managed, Click custom size and then 
So as you can see, I've got 16 gigabytes, so I'm gonna put 16,000. Done, you wanna click set and okay. Okay guys, for the next step, you want to make sure that your graphics card is updated. So for all the devices, you can go into search bar and search device. Click on device manager, click display adapters, and then go into your graphics card. Click on properties, click on driver, then click on update driver. Then click over here and let it scan. As, so as you can see, my drivers are up to date. Then just click close and close out of everything. Okay guys, for the next step, you want to go back to your search bar and search for edit, power, plans. This should come up, just click on it. Then, just click on power options and then it should say balanced and then another option here, probably high. Then, click on this down arrow and then click on ultimate performance. What this is going to do, this is going to stop, it's going to allow your computer to use as much electricity as it needs and it's going to be able to boost your FPS and it's going to be able to fix your game. And it's going to let your PC run faster. Okay, next thing you want to do is go to your search bar and type percent, temp, percent. This file should pop up, just click on that and then select everything over here. Right click delete. Anything that comes out like this, just click on skip. As you can see, I've deleted everything that my computer doesn't need. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope I fixed your game rendering issues. And if you guys did enjoy the video, please leave a like. And if you do like my content, please subscribe as I'm a brand new YouTuber and I can't wait to help fix more people's computers. See you in the next one, that's it from me.